dangerous She's armed and dangerous Armed and dangerous The chapter I was lead You know that I'm in please You're anticipating a call The days in the sun Slowly winding down The summer Has turned into fall Remember when the old time story was a heat Children don't delay Delays are dangerous Delays are dangerous Mama want her children Mama call her children Mama call her children Such disgrace The vultures kept fighting for more Now the days are done And night is turned to dawn Your love is what's pushing us on Remember when the old time story was said Children don't delay Delays are dangerous Delays are dangerous. Mama wanted children only. Yeah. Always starting. And nine is always highest. So the character of nine is highest. Because it's the highest number. Okay? When I ask people what's the highest number in the world, they tell me all these different things. You know, they, say, they would say things like, in, in, oh, numbers never stop. It goes on and on. Oh, it's infinity. But they're not listening to the question. What they have done to the question I have asked, they conceptualize the question. I wasn't asking for the highest numbers. I asked for the highest what? You said it. Number. Single digit. So that would be nine. Now, since nine is the highest number there is, okay, in character, then, therefore, we can easily identify 8 in a simpler form. So the character of 8 would be what? Take a look at it. What would it be? Same thing with the number 4. The character of 4 can be identified how? We had said it is double plus double, but it's another way you can identify it. So you can now that way, K-N-O-W, Dr. Yates says, can now, we pronounce our K in graspish. There's no letter silent. That was the purpose of the letter, for it to be silent. Oh, we don't conceptualize our letters. We believe in phonetic sound of every letter. So we say can now. K-N-O-W means to attain information in the brain, to be aware of, right, to comprehend. That is can now. So, Dr. Yates can now, that you can send him the answer to this question. What is the answer to the question? Do you can know it? The question is, the number four, how can we identify it based on its character otherwise than double plus double? There's another way you can identify it as, based on what you learned here today. You write to Dr. Yates and you send me your answers, okay? Of all the questions I ask of you, Dr. Yates is looking forward to receive your answer by email or by postal service. Stay with us. Much more of the address of Dr. Yates will be coming up. And also you get a chance to see students around the world, how they're applying themselves to grasp mathematics, especially in the Caribbean. Wonderful young people. How they love grasp mathematics. Stay with us. Much more is coming forward. As Dr. Yates shows you now how the timetable works best when you learn the personality and character of basic numbers, rule of measurement from zero to nine. Thank you so much. Dr. Yates says, Shalamti Al. Stay with us. Mm -hmm. Al Shalamti. Hotel. Tenastelen. Greetings. Gentlemen, precious ladies and learning students, welcome to Grasp Maddox. 
timetables. We're going to be doing two digits. Double digits they call it timetables. We're going to be doing squares. Take a look on the board here today and you'll see what we have. We have 1-5 times 1-5. In school they call it 15 times 15. We speak the quanqua, grass-ish, because we're learning grass Maddox. So we say 1-5 times 1-5. How do we do that? Well, in school, they taught me to do this way. Five fives and two five. Five ones, five, and two, seven. I put a zero here. I say one times five is five. One times one is one. I have to add these two to get the sum. When I add it, I get two, two, five. Okay? Because one five plus seven will give me two, two. And then plus the five. That's the way I was taught to do it in school. But in grassmatics, this is the way I teach it. You take the 1 5 times 1 5 and you square it to 1 5 to the second power. 1 5 square is that. Then you say, the square root of 5. 5 fives are 2 5. Then you use the grassmatics principle, the principle of rhythm. Rhythm is calculus motion, one up or one down. I ask the question, what would be the next larger number to 1? And that would be 2. I put a multiplication sign in between them and I multiply these two numbers. Two ones are two. Note here, same answer like this. Like the long way, which is called the spell way. Slave plantational way of learning. This is the way I was taught in the British and American school. This is the grass matters way Dr. Yates created, invented, and presented. Over here, two five times two five. Well, five five is a two five. Five twos are one zero plus a two, one two. Put a five here, I put a zero here. Two fives are one zero. Two two is four, and one make five. When you add it up, you will get five ones to six, two, five. You get six, two, five. That's the small way. Now, the grass matrix way, we square the five, the two five. And we do it this way. Five fives are two five. The next larger number to two is three. Two three is a six. Direct, fast. That is grass matrix. How about this one here? 4, 5 times 4, 5. Let's try this one here. Okay? Well, 5, 5 is a 2, 5. Cross the 5, I'll put it here. 5, 4 is a 2, 0, plus 2, 2, 2, 0 here. 5, 4 is a 2, 0. 4, 4 is a 1, 6, plus 2, 1, 8. When I add it up, 1, 8 plus 2 is 2, 0. And I bring down the 2, 5. So fast you do that? Great. But over here, we go this way. The next, we know the answer is going to end in 2, 5 because the square is ending in 5. The next larger number to 4 would be 5. 5, 4 is a 2, 0. Wow. That is grass matrix. Over here, the next larger number to 3 is 4. 4, 3 is a 1, 2. 5, 5 is a 2, 5. That is grass matrix. Over here, this here is what they did in school. This is how Dr. Yates presented now look at this, you're learning 3, 5 times 3, 5. But in school, they stop at 12 times 12. In grassmatics, you learn timetables starting 0 all the way to 9, 9. They call 99. And above that, you learn how to do 3 digits, 4 digits, and so on in this program. Stay with us. Much more is coming forward as Dr. Yates explore the simplicity, the fun and easy way of learning math. And that math is called grass manics. And the quanqua in which you, you learn to do this math is called grass-ish. The quanqua, grass-ish. The math, grass manics. Thank you so much for watching this DVD or YouTube program or television program. But most of all, for calling others and telling others about this program and getting the DVD. You can also get the Grassmatics DVD, Dr. Yates' speech and workshops presented in England, United States, different Caribbean islands. You would see Dr. Yates in Ethiopia also being interviewed about the Grassmatics program. Request Dr. Yates' workshops, interview, or Dr. Yates' presentation on this simple map. Thank you so much. This is your friend, an educator. I'm not a teacher, I'm a reacher. I am not an official school teacher. I am your everyday educator. And the word educate means to draw out and necessary to put in. 
I'm your edificator. Yours truly, Dr. Yates. Thank you for allowing me.